Welcome back to our channel. Today we are covering question and answers on ServiceNow CAD. To find the complete list of question and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Our team is working hard to keep the content up to date. If you find this video helpful, please let us know in the comment. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. Today question is What is the purpose of the application picker? Option A. Select an application to run. Option B. Select an application as a favorite in the application navigator. Option C. Choose an application to edit and set the application scope most voted. And option D. Choose an application to download and install. The correct answer is option C. Next question is What are application files in a ServiceNow application? Option A An XML export of an application stable records. Option B CSV file containing data imported into an application. Option C ServiceNow Artifacts comprising an application most voted and option D XML exports of an application's update set and the correct answer is option C. Next question is which one of the following is not true for modules? Option A modules open content pages Option B. Access to modules is controlled with roles. Option C. Every module must be a part of an application menu. And option D. Every module must be associated with a table. And the correct answer is option D. Next question is a graphical view of relationships among table is a option A schema map option B dependency view option C graphical user interface and option D map source report and the correct answer is option A. Next question is Which one of the following is true for the application picker? Option A All custom application scope and the global scope appear in the application picker. Option B All applications in service now including baseline applications like incident appear in the application picker. Option C, only custom applications appear in the application picker. And option D, only downloaded applications appear in the application picker. And the correct answer is option A. Next question is when creating an application through the guided application creator, which of the following is a user experience options? Option A, portal. Option B, mobile. Option C, self-service. And option D, workspace. And the correct answer is option B. Next question is When 
Writing a client to provide feedback targeted at specific field, which method should be used? Please go through the options. And the correct answer is option B. Next question is, which actions can our business rule take without scripting? Option A, set fields values and write to the system log. Option B, set field values and generate an event. Option C, set field values and add message. And option D, set field values and query the database. And the correct answer is option C. Next question is, Which server side object provides methods for working with dates when writing a script in a privately scoped application? Option A, Glide Data Time. Option B, Glide Record. Option C, Glide System. And Option D, Current. And the correct answer is option A. Next question is, application developers can specify which service now page a user sees after submitting a new record using the record producer UI. How is the page specified? Option A, create an application property to store the URL. Option B, configure the page in the module that opens the record producer UI. Option C. Write an after business rule script for the record producer's table window redirect. And option D. Write a script in the record producer's script field producer redirect URL. And the correct answer is option D. Next question is Identify characteristics of a record producer. Choose three options. Option A, all records created using this strategy are inserted into the request item. Option B, each field prompts the user with the question rather than a field label. Option C, you can skip behaviors of fields in the user interface. And option D, graphs can be included on the user interface. And the correct answer is option B. Next question is, which script types execute on the server? Choose three options. Option A, business rule. Option B, client scripts. Option C, UI policies. Option D, script actions. And option E, scheduled jobs. And the correct answer is option A. Thank you.